Yeah, I know. Sorry. I had an audition. Uh, anyway, my name's Bob. I'll be your driver. Can I uh, get that for you? Los Angeles International Airport. Yes, sir.
no. Yes. Yes, good evening. I'd like to report a burglary. 119, we have a report of someone identifying himself as the cat burglar at the L.A. Jewelry Center. This is 119, we're on it. Open up. Yo, come on, come on, open up. Well, how do I know you're really the police? Because if I wasn't the police, we'd be dead right now. Let's go, come, come on. on. Come on, come on, let's go. California Diamond Corporation, what floor? I, um, what floor? 11. What's going on? You're being robbed. But I didn't hear no alarm. You want the stairs? Uh-uh, I ain't chasing after nobody in these platform shoes. I'm staying right here. Yo, you peed yourself. I doing here? What are you doing here? I asked you first. I got a call about a cat burglar. What are you doing here? Nothing. No. So, uh, Dave, how you been? But you're supposed to be in jail. I got out early for good behavior. Well, guess what? You're going back. But Dave, you don't understand. You see, I... Oh! I'm gonna kill you. Dave, you wouldn't shoot your own brother, would you? You're crazy! That's right, I went crazy! I shot my own twin brother! I'll be going to jail for it! You know something? I don't care! At least I won't have to deal with you! You're 
out of bolts. I can see you're having a bad night. You made it, bro. Good account of your statement, sign your name at the bottom. If it isn't too bad, I ain't typing no more. Okay. All right, Charlie. I told you I'd meet you in about an hour. Yeah. Okay, look, I gotta go. All right. What was that address again? What's this? It's a present. Open it. We, uh, we heard you were chasing after some uh, cat burglar. <laughs> that's funny. That's very funny. Maybe you should keep it, Albers. I mean, that's the only kind of pussy you'll ever see. <laughs> Nobody in here has any work to do? Yeah. So now you want to tell me what really went down? Read the report. A seven-foot Chinese male with blonde hair. Please. It was dark. I couldn't get a good look at him. Why are you dogging me? You gonna hold that on your partner? Denitra, I was gonna... What are you looking at? Nothing. Come on, get out of here. Listen, why don't you go to? Nah, I'm all right. No, really, go. Go on. Blow up some steam. Go lift some weights and give yourself a hernia. What about you? I gotta meet somebody. Who? Well, maybe that's not really any of your business. Denitra. This guy I busted when I was working down in South Central. He's been clean for a couple years working construction. Says he knows something about something. It's probably nothing. It's okay. Go. Take off. I'll be fine. But if it looks like anything, anything at all, I want you to call me. Yes, Mommy. I'm serious. I know, and when you're serious, you are really very cute. <laughs> what are you gonna do with him? Here. Uh-uh, don't give me no bad luck. I'm out of here. Peace.
doing coach I enjoy training you I enjoy being trained what happened to your arm my brother shot me why did he do that I don't know maybe because I got a bicycle and he got a BB gun what it's a long story when am I gonna meet this mysterious brother he sounds interesting oh uh, you wouldn't like him He's real skinny. He's got puny arms and little spindly legs. I mean, he could barely walk without his crutches. Peter, do you ever tell the truth? Not if I can help it. Watch this. I take a piece of coal and... Ta-da! Wow. Is it real? It better be after what I went through to get it. Take a look through this. Oh, Peter, it's fantastic. See how clear it is? Yeah. Colorless, almost transparent. That means it's a good time. It's beautiful. What are you doing? Oops, I dropped it. <laughs> Peter. It's all right, it's all right. I'll find it. <laughs> make this quick. It's been a long night and my feet are killing me. So what's up? What you gotta tell me? Oh, Charlie, I thought you were straight, man. Security guard found them around 5.30 this morning. She was shot once in the back of the head, point blank. Approximately 15 to 20 grams of heroin were found in her purse. She was clean. Yeah, I know. But there will still have to be an investigation. The overdose worked for uh, Kent Construction. Name's Charles Vasquez. Did you know him? He called Danny to set up the meeting. Why? If I knew why, she wouldn't be dead. Now, the two most important things are, get the bullet over to ballistics immediately, and I'd like to see a copy of that blood panel. Who knows? Maybe she was dirty.
Apparently, there has been a breach in security, Alice. Now, who do you suppose it was? It must have been Donald. Yeah. Must have been Donald. Tucked away there, safely in prison, lifting his weights, and discussing my security system with every convict he takes a long shower with. We could get somebody inside. Well, no, it's a little late for that now, don't you think? Ellis. And since you're head of security, I'm afraid I have to hold you accountable. Bob. Tito, your new head of security. Jeremy, I'll need to have lunch with Mr. Kent. And let's make sure he doesn't have any more nervous employees like Mr. Vasquez who need to make calls to the police department. Tito. I know I don't have to tell you what to do. <laughs> yeah, but I will. <laughs> I want you to track down our little intruder and get that fucking card back. Police department. Good evening. I'd like to report a burglary. Address? California Jewelry Mart. California Jewelry Mart. That's right. And your name, sir? Oh, and could you please send that nice Detective Jade? Who is this? Thank you. Who is this, sir? Hello? you to shoot at me. I didn't do it. You have the right to remain silent. As a matter of fact, I insist on it. Man, this isn't funny. Hey, this is where I'm standing. David, I said I was sorry. All right, all right, all right. Wait a minute. Come here, come here, come here. Okay. How much do you want? You trying to bribe me? Naturally. Forget it, asswipe. You got all the bad chromosomes, not me. I'll see you in 20 years. David, you better let me out of here. I swear I'll get you for this. Oh, oh, you'll get me? Take a look around you. You see all these guys? They don't like me very much. You know why? Because I put every one of their asses in here. Yo, hey, everybody! This is my brother! David! David! Detective Jade? Detective Jade? Yeah, what's this? The financial report on Charles Vasquez? He was pulling down some serious cash for a construction worker. Looks like he was doing some moonlighting. Thanks, Sinclair. No problem. How about buying some cookies from my kid? Jade, Chief's office. Wait a sec. No, just a sec. No. Detective Jade, this is Stephen Tarlow from the District Attorney's Office and Agent Regan from the FBI. Hi, nice to meet you. You'll have to excuse my boys have been screaming at assholes all morning. But before we get into this, I just wanted to say that I was sorry to hear about your partner. The entire department grieves for her husband and family. But Detective Jade, you assaulted a fellow officer 
and put Lieutenant Albers in the hospital. Now, what do you have to say about that? I should have put him in the morgue. You know damn well that that shit doesn't go very far with me. You're a good cop, Jade, but you've got to learn to control your temper. Now, this is the last episode I want to hear about you. Am I making myself clear? Yes, sir. Chief, may we please? All right. I knew this wasn't going to be easy for you, so I wanted to be here to introduce you to your new partner. What's he doing here? This is your new partner. No way. Yes way. Suspect's legal counsel has convinced the district attorney's office that your brother may have evidence which will assist us in a federal prosecution. No way. This way. The suspect's been given immunity for the burglaries, providing he can produce the evidence which will aid in a conviction of an alleged money launderer. No way. This way. You are to accompany the suspect and retrieve the evidence in question. Gotcha. Wait a second, I can't believe you guys bought this bullshit. Can't you see he's lying? He'll say anything to keep from going to jail. Um, objection, Your Honor. I know this guy. I can't trust him. He'll try to get away. That's why we're sending Agent Regan along with you. Look forward to working with you, Dave. Oh, forget it. Get yourself a new boy. I ain't doing it. Jay, this is not an elective assignment. Hey, why me? Yeah, why him? Believe me, you were not my first choice. You put my first choice in the hospital. I'm sorry, but I ain't doing it. Detective, need I remind you, you work for me. Not anymore. I quit. See, I told you he was a quitter. Like Whitney Houston? Yeah. Oh, what a geek. Hey, I gotta pee. Whitney, go with him. Hey, I'm just going to the bathroom. Whitney, go with him. Don't mind if I do. Uh, excuse me, Whitney, but um, I'm kind of pee shy. after dad retired from banking. Oh yeah, tell me a little bit about uh, your family. Well, uh, I'm English on my mom's side, Irish on my dad's side, which makes me uh, well, English-Irish. Going somewhere? Just, uh, testing the waters. They're cold and deep. You want to drown? Get back up there. And then there's Trisha. That's my youngest sister. She just had her debutante's ball. And then there's my older sister, Elaine. Well, I'll tell you, she is one hell of a tennis player. You never know that one of her legs is shorter than the other. Oh, shit. My folks got her these specially made tennis shoes with the sole about an inch thicker on the left side. Where's the right side? Y'all set? No matter how much you shake it, the last drop always goes down your leg. Who is this 
money launder anyway. Well, his name's Philip Chamberlain. He owns the diamond company your brother inadvertently broke into. Inadvertently? Yeah, it means unintentionally. You see, we believe Chamberlain is using the diamond company to transfer drug money out of the country. So why don't you just go bust his ass? Well, it's not that easy. He's got a shining public image, he's politically well-connected, heavy contributor, board of directors for Children's Hospital. He... I'll tell you, until your brother decided to cooperate, we really didn't have much to go on. Well, I thought it was my civic duty. Okay, George Washington, where's the evidence? Hey, chill, bro, we'll get to it. But first, I gotta stop off at my house and change clothes. I smell like a jail cell. Might as well get used to it. <laughs> you two really do look alike. Shut up, Whitney. Hi, ladies. Oh, uh, this is my brother and um, my sister. <laughs> wow, you live here only during bikini season. I guess crime does pay. Come over to the dark side, Luke. Why don't you stick it in your dark side? Well, this is sick. Made today off. What a shame. This was a museum quality piece. I ought to know I stole it from a museum. Yeah, well, whatever you took from these guys, they won't back off for bad. All this over a couple of lousy diamonds. Can you believe it? No, I can't. So you want to tell me what's going on? The rest of the premises are secure. Thanks, Whitney. I feel safer knowing that you're here. So, uh, you guys hungry? Can I fix you some coffee and donuts? Get dressed. Whoa, you got more machines here than my gym. You want them? I don't use them anymore. Too much work. I use this thing now. Check it out. It's called passive muscle stimulation. The machine sends an electrical impulse to the muscle tissue, causing an involuntary reflex. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, well, I had it amped up a little bit. Always looking for a way to get out of doing any work. That's what separates us humans from the rest of you in the animal kingdom. Let's go. I need my shoes. Whitney, get his shoes. I want to pick them out. Whitney, get his shoes. But I don't trust this taste. Brown Italian loafers with double tassels. OK. Start talking or start bleeding. And do what he says. Those steroids make him unpredictable. See what I mean? I don't take any steroids and I don't take any shit! Are you always this macho? Let's hear it. I said, let's hear it! Hey, Dave. Why not let the machine do the work for you? Sent you. Tito! Tito? You know anyone named Tito? I don't know his last name. Where can I find Tito? Grand promenade. Something to the penthouse.
better not be lying to me, because I'm coming back. What about Whitney? What about him? Stop! The G-forces are killing me! Well, the other is coming in. The stealth car! What have you got in this thing? Like a tractor engine or something? Why don't we take my car? Probably stole it. I did not steal it. I paid for it with some hard-earned money that I stole. So after all that time in prison, you're gonna learn nothing. Hey, I learned where those diamonds were, didn't I? Oh, well, Dave, you just passed it. Grab the wheel assembly, will you? What is this? You're staying here. Come on, man. I thought we were partners. Let's get one thing straight. You are not my partner. House is locked. You'll have to go back downstairs and ask the guard to call the tenant. And after you've been announced, the guard will open the floor with a pass key. Thank you. How'd you get the pass key? From the guard. Downstairs. Give him a hundred bucks and get rid of him. Knock, knock.
suspects are getting away. Get the money! You're the bad guy. Shut up. It's all your fault. Why is it my fault? Because if you hadn't taken the steering wheel, they wouldn't have gotten away. Hey, it's 411. If I hadn't clubbed that guy with the steering wheel, you'd be in the ghost police. Yeah, but I wouldn't even have been there in the first place if you hadn't stolen those diamonds. Yeah, well, I would have never stolen anything in the first place if you hadn't been such a goody two-shoes. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, David did his homework, and David made his bed. And isn't David darling? And Peter, why can't you be more like your brother David? David, 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 David! I'm talking about you, the boy scout of the decade! So you're saying it's my fault you're a criminal? Well, that's one theory I have. The other one has to do with the breastfeeding. Okay, check it out. Souvenir from Tito's place. What is it? Plastic cap. It's a detonating device used by construction workers. Construction worker? There are some criminal element that wanted to set off a larger explosion. Pretty harmless by themselves. Okay, buddy, now it's time to play round two of Shock the Monkey. You know, I've always been afraid to try this thing on myself, but I'm curious to find out if it can make your dick muscles bigger. You're not calling anybody. You're gonna tell me what these people are after, and I don't want to hear any more bullshit about diamonds either. Dave, I swear to you, man, that's all I took. Hey, you were right all along. I made up all that junk about evidence just so I could stay out of jail. You are a hell of a cop. And you're a hell of a liar. Now, you're gonna tell me the truth, or I'm gonna kick your ass. Did you say you're gonna kick my ass? Sorry, can't touch this. Sorry, little brother, but I warned you.
<laughs> you hungry? Starved. Let's get something to eat. Don't you ever swallow? So, uh, whatever became of the straight-A student? Why'd you drop out? Someone had to work. Dad couldn't, you were in jail. That's all right, he wouldn't have remembered you anyway. What's the name of that thing he had? Old-timers? Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah, he turned into, like, Ronald Reagan, you know? He couldn't remember anything. One day, I guess, uh, he couldn't remember to wake up. Why aren't you eating? I thought you were hungry. Are you kidding? I can't eat that junk. It's loaded with carcinogens. You should ask for them on the side. Come on. Let's hold you down and go get something edible. Wait a minute. I'm not finished yet. I'm not finished yet! Come on, will you? I hate this. What's your problem? It reminds me of kindergarten. I hated wearing the same clothes. They're not the same. This is a very fine paint stripe running through it. Oh, yeah, they're much different. Look, when we get outside, you can roll around in the mud and you'll feel better. Now, will you shut up? You look great. No, I don't. I look like you. Gentlemen, this way, please. There you go. Enjoy. Pick up your menu. It's in French. I'm not impressed. Pick up your menu. Across the room. See the guy over there in the gray suit? That's your boy. Chamberlain? How'd you know he'd be here? Because he eats here every day. You don't think I just break into people's safes without finding out who owns them first, do you? Who's the guy he's with? Looks like those Patty Duke pills just kicked in. Okay, I give up. Which one of you adores a minuet? Son of a bitch. What are we going to do? First place. <laughs> we are not going to panic. Second, I want your men ready to engage at any moment. It's a 31-hour plane trip between Los Angeles and Johannesburg, including a four-hour layover in Geneva. This means that Mr. Rose Hill will not be officially reported missing for another eight hours when his plane lands in South Africa without him. Now, <laughs> yeah, barring the miracle of a plane crash, this leaves us eight hours in which to retrieve the card and execute the operation. If, however, at the end of the seventh hour the card is still absent, you and your men will proceed without it. It's too dangerous. Your life is dangerous, Mr. Ken. You could walk out onto the street this very afternoon and suddenly be struck by a speeding car. I don't like it. Stuart's not going to like it either. Mr. Ken, I've spent several years and several millions planning this venture, and I'm not about to let anything or anyone impair it. So I suggest that you have a little talk with Mr. Stewart before I do. It would be too tragic if you were both struck by the same speeding car.
Okay, so now we know where Tito gets his plastic caps, but uh, shouldn't we be following Chamberlain? No. May I ask you why? Construction worker named Vasquez set up a meeting with my partner to tell us something got them both killed. Vasquez worked for Kent. So you think Kent had something to do with it? Shit rolls downhill. Let's see where it rolls next. Excuse me, sir. This is a private club. Police. Excuse me, did I just go in there? Thanks. City Councilman Leonard Stewart. Oh, I see you voted the scumbag party. Yeah, politicians are nice people. Everybody should own one. Looks like your councilman's close to the edge. Yeah, let's push him over. Hey, what's going on? Out of here. Relax, Councilman. You still got some skin left. Who is it? What do you want? This is a warning, Councilman. I know you're dirty, and I'm on to you. I'm gonna tickle me out of here. We know all about you, and Kent, and Chamberlain. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No? Well, you better get used to the heat, Councilman. Cause your ass is gonna fry! <laughs> <laughs> Councilman Stewart's car. It's a BMW, license number 2, SAM 564. Excuse me, which way did I go? Thanks. I said, I want out! Just a moment, Leonard. Tito, you're fired. I'm sorry, Leonard, you were saying... I said I want out. I want my goddamn money, and I want out! Calm down, Leonard. No, I'm not gonna fucking calm down, Leonard. You asked me to get Kent the goddamn contract, and I got him the goddamn contract. Now, I want my money, and I want out! All right, Leonard, all right. Look, anything you say, yeah, we'll come and get you. 
You know, there's nothing worse than a crooked politician. Bob, the councilman needs a ride. I couldn't wait to get that raggedy old sweatshirt back on, could you? Nope. That's something. I'm really beginning to enjoy police work. No, no, really. I really think I could get into this as an alternative occupation. It's sort of fun. So, uh, what kind of money you guys make? <sighs> Starting pay around twenty-three thousand dollars a week. Year. You let people shoot at you for that kind of money? That's right. What kind of money does a brain surgeon make? Or maybe a gynecologist. Now, that wouldn't be such a bad job, would it? Have your nose buried in your work. to the car he was gone and where were you when all this was going on i was uh i he was guarding a possible suspect the guy with his throat slit nice work agent regan you're off the case yeah i kind of figured that put on an apb on peter jade this was a stupid idea in the first place no shit. Jeez, I'm really sorry, Dave. Don't worry about it, Whitney. There'll be other bad guys. Come on, I'll give you a ride home. Detective Jay, here's that report you wanted. You were right. Chamberlain made some heavy-duty contributions to Stewart's campaign. I still don't get how Kent Construction ties into this. Good question. Thanks, Sinclair. I owe you one. Then how about buying some cookies? Yeah. You got any of those uh, mint ones? Sure do. Son of a bitch stole my wallet. Yeah. Detective Jade, David Jade, here to question one of the prisoners. Thank you for your cooperation. Yo, I support you. Prison that bad. 
No way. I just came to pay homage to the master. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be boosting car radios. You taught me everything I know. Except how to bullshit. And you, Peter, are the master of that. So what's going on? You've made my life so much easier. <laughs> if you'll give me the card back, I'll let you keep all the diamonds, which you also stole from me. You got the wrong guy. What's this business here? That's my twin brother. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Humor in the face of adversity. I like that. <laughs> Bob. <sighs> Ever since I was a child, I've always gotten exactly what I wanted. Yet yeah, one way or another, things always seem to end up in my favor. <laughs> At this point, I do not know how I would react to being disappointed. Bob, either you are going to run out of blood, or I am going to run out of patience. You need a booth. I don't know. Oh, where's the card? You got the wrong guy. Oh, fuck. This is becoming a bore. Freeze. Drop it. Looks like I owe you an apology. I said drop it. No. You drop it. Kill him. Got it. Good. 
Now I'm happy again. What about the rest of the money? No, leave it. It's still traceable. Besides, we don't need it anymore. Getting out of the money laundering business? It served its purpose. Like financing a hit on the diamond exchange? Ooh. But who said bodybuilders were big and dumb? We're ready. Mr. Kent. <laughs> Here is the card. Uh, please, don't lose it. Jeremy, get the plane ready. Gentlemen, I want to thank you for making this a most memorable day. <laughs> Bob, let's go for a ride. I tell you're mad at me. Come on, Dave, I don't want to die knowing that you're mad at me. Why'd you run away? Maybe they were after me. I didn't want to get you killed. Thanks a lot. That was very considerate of you. Okay, well, then maybe I was just getting sick and tired of saving your ass. Do me a favor. Shoot me first so I don't have to listen to this idiot anymore. Unbelievable. Who are you calling an idiot? Hey, don't tell me. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it? I'll show you what I'm going to do about it. man thanks peter listen you better call the feds tell them to get their asses down to the diamond exchange pronto right on what a dick really City Councilman Leonard Stewart. Use them to take from Chamberlain, too. Oh my god. Kent Construction's building the downtown section of the Metro Rail. Remind me not to ride it. Dave, the Metro Rail runs right under the Diamond Exchange. <laughs>
media's here. They want a statement. Which media? Local TV and papers. Anybody from the networks? No. Make them wait. Bring me some decaf. Top side. Gentlemen, may I propose a toast? But first of all, uh, to those of us who were unable to make the party tonight, the Bob and the others who... Well, I don't give a shit about anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the less the merrier, huh? Yeah. yeah, and secondly, and most importantly, but to the most brilliantly conceived and successful rip-off is the invention of junk bonds. Gentlemen, I thank you.
golly. Of course, Mr. Kent, I forgot. You don't drink. There's enough here to make everyone forgive and forget. Enough to forgive you for killing my partner? Forget it. You certainly should be able to appreciate my offer. Look at them. Brilliant. It's like they're alive. They don't merely reflect light. It seems to emanate from them. They sparkle. The dreams. With power. Forgot to say you're getting drowsy. You know what? You're as dumb as I look. Book him, Devo. Hey, Peter, you all right? No, I'm not all right. I'm shot. He shot me. Hey, Peter. What? I'm not mad at you anymore. Dave, go kick some butt. <laughs> 